Okay, so you've got 60 seconds to tell me about yourself. Simple. Well, apparently not. Why do we find this 60 second, 45 second, 30 second pitch so difficult to do? Why do we hate it so much? Why are most of us so crap at it? I've sat in many online meetings, particularly networking ones over the last few weeks, and I just want to stick pins in my eyes, quite frankly, to avert myself from the agony and slow death of watching people try to pitch themselves. Now, you will get some people who are watching this and they'll go, oh, I don't dread them. I think they're great. I love them. Lola, I love showing off about myself. Um, <laughs> but I generally think those are the people who either completely ignore the timer, um, kind of sell, sell, sell like lunatics or just witter monotonously on for five minutes until we all lose the will to live. I generally don't like the 60 second thingy much myself, to be honest. And it is something I'm working on personally. I'm trying to get better at them. And I'm certainly here talking about do as I say, not as I do. Um, I'm also certainly not claiming to be any kind of psychology expert, but I've been thinking about it and my thoughts for what they're worth are this. I think we dread it because we are terrified that our version of who we believe we are is not what others will see. Um, we're judging ourselves so harshly most of the time that we think, yeah, everyone else is going to judge me too. So that makes us timid about what we say. Or we're not exactly sure how we do help people or we feel it's a bit cocky to say it. So we just kind of say what we do for a living in the vague help that that's enough. Now, I've done that enough as a safety measure myself and I know it's a pants way to pitch. It's not... It shouldn't be seen as an initiation ceremony that has to be got through. I think it should be more like a teaser, something that is just about to whet the appetite of the people listening. So they want to find out more about you. They want to do a one to one. They want to ask you questions. Um, it's not about pigeonholing yourself. You know, how many times do we hear that? I'm a financial advisor. I work for Big Cheese and Big Dobbs Consultancy. <laughs> It's so blah. And also the person is way more than just a financial advisor who works with big cheeses and big knobs. It's, it's you know, tell us about you as a person. When I do media training with clients, I always tell them to tell their best stories first, as that's what the journalist's audience want to hear. The headline, it's the bit that hooks them in. It's the bit that talks to them personally. And I, and I definitely think that's what the personal pitch should be doing. Tell us the best bits about what you do, the most interesting facts, the funniest, most memorable you know, most important things, really. A final point on this is, remember we're talking about, well, I'm talking about personal pitches here, the ones that you do at networking events. These are not sales pitches. Do not confuse the two. The personal pitch is about you and what you do, sure, but it's more about making people want to know you, to help you, to collaborate with you. You know, if you start trying to sell to them, most of us will switch off and think, what an ass. Oh, and also while I'm here, please can we ditch the I am passionate about helping blah blah in your pitch. I think it's a cliche now and surely we all care about what we do. I personally, if I have to hear another I'm passionate about helping 40 plus women achieve whatever, I may vom.